so you need to see what's in my refrigerator. Come on, guys. Let's take a peek. Look at that. We grew all these tomatoes in the garden. I got them there. Look at this. You see how many tomatoes I got? And I got them there. I got onions, too. Right there. But I got to deal with all these tomatoes quickly. So I'm going to make... If you'll recall last video, we made tomato salad. Well, we still have a ton of tomatoes. So, I've been coming up with ideas and today we're going to make... Hi, I'm Caroline and today we're making tomato sauce. So Lee's outside and he's picking some oregano and some basil out of his herb garden to put in the uh, tomato sauce today. Listen to those birds singing. So here's the tomatoes. I'm using a mix, as you'll recall from last time, of two types. Lee grew, as you'll recall last time, last video, uh, two types. These are the kind that are made for making tomato sauce. They're Italian tomatoes and they're called San Marzano. And the reason they make them in Italy for making the tomato sauces because they aren't full of juice. They're fairly dry inside and they're supposed to make great tomato sauce. Well, this is our first time with him growing these and this is the first time us making tomato sauce with these. So we'll see how it turns out. We also have some of the Florida tomatoes. Those are the ones that are the round ones. And they're uh, made, uh, well, they were made in Dade City, Florida, and that's why they have Floridade, which is half Florida and half Dade City um, in the name. They're just small and they're juicy tomatoes. So we're going to have a few of those mixed in. I'm going to continue uh, and get with this chopping of the tomatoes. And then we'll get cooking. I thought on this tomato that that was a bad spot, that little dark spot, and I was like totally inspecting it. <laughs> but um, it turned out not to be. It was just a dark spot, but it wasn't bad or anything. I smelled it and, you know, it's fine. <laughs> the onions I'm putting in the tomato sauce today are the purple onions that Lee grew in the garden. He grew quite a few of these. They're very small. They did not get big. It was his very first time growing them. We were surprised we had so many. And they have kept for about a month now. He, he pulled them all up about a month ago. And they have kept, and they are delicious. They're not strong onions. They're mild onions. And they're not sweet. They're just mild. First, I'm going to brown the onion with some garlic and a little olive oil before I put the tomatoes in the pan. I'm not too worried about the onions being chopped up fine. They're going to be boiled basically in the tomato juice. Um, I just wanted to get a little caramelization and browning on it. And the same going with the garlic. And I used about a teaspoon, as you could see. I'm tossing in the oregano and these beautiful tomatoes. Um, uh, the only herbs are in there are the fresh oregano and a little bit of basil. Not too much. I didn't want it to be overwhelming, as you can see, with onion or garlic or 
any one particular thing, but I just want a hint of flavor. I want most of the flavor to be the tomatoes because when we cook with it, ultimately is what's going to happen is I'm going to season it then. So I want it seasoned as tomato sauce so I don't have to season it too much. I threw in a tiny bottle of Merlot wine to add a little acidity to it. Also a pinch of salt. You really don't taste the wine at all. And it makes a very delicious tomato sauce. Let's put the lid on it and tuck it away. And we're going to cook it real low. Okay, everything's about done. It's been about 30, 40 minutes now. How long you cook, it depends on how many tomatoes you're using. While that's cooking, I want to show you the food mill. This is a food mill, and it spins around. It's a metal thing that's got like a, a sieve in it, and it's got this thing that spins around, and it removes all the skins and everything, all the tomatoes. And you fit it over a pot, and basically you put your cooked tomatoes in it, and it will go through those little holes, and you spin it around, and only tomato sauce comes out and all the pulp. Uh, you'll see. Lee's going to do it for you, and you'll see. Okay, Lee's got a setup all ready to go, and he's going to take some of these uh, fresh garden tomatoes that we cook down and onions and herbs and scoop some of it in the food mill. He's not going to overcrowd it. And then he's going to basically just spin it, and it will remove everything of the tomato. It can leave only the skins, and you can't do that even if you tried it with a food processor you'd have to strain and strain it you know through a sieve and use a spoon i found nothing that works um as good as a food mill i mean and you'll see in the end he there's nothing left but just a little tomato skin i mean it utilizes every single bit of the tomato and these things are inexpensive they're old-fashioned and they just hadn't invented anything better than these. at this can you see how much tomato sauce already and that was just a few seconds uh, that's how quick this thing <laughs> does and uh, he's dumping out the skins as you, uh, you could see it wasn't that many skins in it at all and he's going to continue uh, doing it so. <laughs>
We have a delicious tomato sauce where we control the spices. It's got no additives, no preservatives. Um, and it's so much tastier than the jarred stuff or the canned stuff you buy in the store. And you don't have to have a garden to do this. You can just get a food mill and buy fresh tomatoes and herbs and do it yourself. It's real simple, um, as I showed you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. This is Caroline with Caroline and Lee's Florida Country Home Diaries.